हे हाय हेलो वेलकम बैक टू माय न्यू वीडियो दिस संपत यू वाचिंग संपत सा एफएक्स यूट्यूब चैनल एंड दिस इज पोको x3 प्रो यू गाइस कैन सी पोको x3 प्रो कस्टम रोम रोज दिस वन एंड्राइड 14 लेटेस्ट वर्जन फॉर पोको x3 प्रो दिस इज पिक्सेल एक्सपीरियंस रोम यू गाइस कैन सी अक्टूबर 5 2023 इज uh bag well vo kernel has been used this is the latest build available for poco except this is an official you can say but it's returned as alpha but anyhow i have done some benchmark results everything will be explained in detail in order to know that stay tuned till the end of the video and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and let's begin this video from home screen itself this is the typical home screen you get if you press and hold here you get wallpaper and style we'll go to that you get this lock screen and home screen here i have found this kind of different uh, presets for lock screen but once i go into clock color and size it will force close that's the small bug i have noticed as of now and you get separate customization for home screen and lock screen and uh, a different type of patterns ascent colors you get basic colors and other colors individual colors and combination of colors are also given dark theme once i apply it will look like this it's not in pitch black condition it's like a themed kind of dark theme has been enabled here or uh, let me show you the settings panel you'll get idea as you can see yeah this how it looks dark it's not in pure pitch black condition let me disable from quick settings panel you can also see the quick settings panel here all the necessary toggles has been given into the edit section you get plenty of options again if you want you can add them there is a sync option uh, missing it directly get uh, synced whatever you use you get emails everything will be synced here and this is the automatic brightness toggle everything is working fine i haven't faced any issues as you can see the smoothness in the ebay is really good this all the recent apps we'll see the dialer this how the dialer comes here and internet connected device it's speed enough and camera you get a miui camera which is not a leica one you get a proper 48 megapixel mode as you can see and with gallery yeah as you can see this is in hd now you need to get access of that then you need to use me a gallery or use file manager anyone is fine this is the camera if you want you can use advanced gcam ports like lmc 8.4 currently i am using that as you can see now let's take the shot from here you will get a little bit of uh, comparison here at least it is also fine you can use both the cameras uh, definitely this gcam lmc 8.4 is going to be good thing use the lip patch file and also xml uh, which will be given in the description or else if you join my uh, separate group for poco x3 pro whatsapp group is available join there you will get more idea about this particular rom fm radio is also pre-installed and drm information again you will get a level 1 certified no need to worry regarding watching ott applications you will be watching in high definition only l1 certified and safety net status also We'll check once yeah it will get passed as you can see you can use all the payment applications like phone pay whatever i say whatever the banking apps are given everything going to work fine in this rom and majorly you get this wiper effects once you play any music in audio kind of files like uh, youtube music or amazon music whatever you want to play then these going to work fine you can enable or disable from here you can customize some of them as you can see uh, you can also check the updates for me this is an added feature it's not a uh, combination of pixel experience but just they added as you can see fm radio is also pre-installed here no need to worry these are the apps i have installed the smoothness in the ui i really really like it i'll be explaining some of the things in the settings before going that let me open this uh, you can see charging rapidly as you can see 85 percent the 33 watt charging support is given here and this is a Geekbench score 1032 is the single score and 2577 is the multi score again the kernel Linux 4.14.10 Bagwell VO kernel this is an Android 14 guys and this is the CPU throttling test as you can see guys this is 130 test guys and maximum is 269 and average is 223 and minimum is 172 and it's for 15 minutes and you can see it's max 
to 72 percent of its max performance is throttled overall is good after a certain time it's getting throttled according to this app but in day-to-day -day performance i haven't faced any issues this is the benchmark results and widgets you get this if you press and hold here again home settings it's a pixel launcher at a glance you get plenty of options if and you can enable or disable from here notification dots again in any glance you can even customize the search bar we'll see that assistant personal results uh, personalize your no not this one we'll check this yeah these are the things you get in the home settings i mean the pixel launcher settings dialer you get a basic uh, google dialer with call recording announcing that other person you are recording the call internet connectivity i haven't faced any problems even with mobile data connection i'm using geo currently and even with wi-fi the internet connectivity is fine here nothing problem regarding any of the internet issues i haven't faced any issues such issues let's move into settings here this is a simple settings panel you get which is pixel experience from here underneath the system you get this gestures option you get one handed mode no three finger screen to take the screenshot just come back here and take the screenshot from here this how it is Android 14 visual changes you won't notice that much a small here and there noticeable changes are there but nothing more than anything else what you can expect and system UI tuner again you get status bar options if want you can enable or disable from here plugins do not disturb mode is given if i come back from here digital well-being and parental controls has been given location security and privacy you get fingerprint unlock only let me show you that as you can see it's very very fast in my opinion yeah no face unlock as of now but let's see will be coming very soon accessibility menu is also given here uh, display size and text is also given here and other some of the accessibility settings you can see on the screen wallpaper again it will give you number of options here display settings again adaptive brightness is given lock screen settings you get plenty of customization uh, a dark theme i already said about that night light feature again you can schedule it out and also you can adjust the intensity of it minimum maximum low power refresh rate can be set here tap to wake is given ambient display if you want you can enable that anyhow we have the notification led but it's up to you guys and the sound and vibration again you get plenty of options in direct sound enhancer is also given i'm currently using these default settings if you want to use anything you can change from here battery again battery usage you can see this is the pattern and the charging speeds are also very good as i explained before and battery life is also very very good in my opinion these are the things you get battery widget again it's an android 13 feature only and android 14 it has been uh, revamped a little bit in this particular rom again apps you get plenty of options here default apps assistant screen time unused app app battery uses special app access you get again plenty of options you can see full screen notifications if certain app you want to allow it out or don't want to use that you can make it out picture in picture mode is given premium sms access given unrestricted data install unknown apps and other things this all cool here this all the android 14 based uh, custom rom here guys and this is the typical home screen and app drawer you get in this particular rom you will get all the necessary apps and basic things are working fine i definitely recommend to use it as a daily driver as you can see these are the recent apps available in this particular rom and this is the status bar icons you get little bit of customization here if you want anything else you can flash the evolution x rom i also played the pubg new state it will handle in 90 fps but bgm is stuck with 60 fps only but the gameplay is fine i hope you like this video if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now Thank <laughs> you.